My name is Russell Harris, Eyal Hirsch in Hebrew. And uh, where, what is your main nationality? I'm South African and I have Israeli citizenship. Okay, and um, what would you say is the uh, abuse that you've suffered from the Israeli system? Um, I'm suffering a form of human rights abuse in terms of I have no um, ability to discuss um, the problems that I'm experiencing within the legal system here. I'm forbidden from leaving the country. Um, I'm forbidden from traveling uh, using a, a, a driver's license. I am not allowed to hold a bank account except when the state has mandated for me. I cannot operate a small business. Um, so I'm in the position where I've been unemployed for a couple of years. Um, but I can't find work, but I can't find uh, a means to employ myself and make money because I'm not allowed to without a court order. Um, how do you feel about the way you're treated as a human being here? I feel terrible. Everything here has been, it's been an huge imposition in my life. Not only can I do, if, if I want to look for a job in Tel Aviv, it costs me over a hundred shekels to get there and spend the day there. But I have very little money in terms of state benefits. So I can't afford to look for a job. Even if I get a job there, um, I, I can't rent an apartment in Tel Aviv because you have to use checks or credit cards and I'm not allowed to have a check or a credit card. So I can't, I, have, I, I can't live there unless I live underground somewhere. Right, now I understand that your language skills in Hebrew are very limited. Yeah. Um, what kind of rights have you been given in the court in terms of your own language, your mother tongue? Uh, none. 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 None, and I've not been able to go to court for, it's been five years. Five years. And I understand also that you've had documents sent to you in Hebrew and you don't even understand the decisions have been made about your life. All the documentation is in Hebrew and it's only been over the years that I've had certain people just happen to be in the legal profession, just happen to look at my documents and were explained certain points to me. And, and even from the outset, a state appointed lawyer uh, 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 wasn't able to provide an accurate translation. He essentially assumed this was what the deal was and gave it to me and it turned out he was incorrect. I had a lawyer friend read it and come back with me. We went back to see the lawyer to make the corrections. Um, all, the, all the conversations I've had regarding my case over the years have been with people whose language is, first language is not English, they don't speak English properly, and they're unable to actually tell me what, what I need to know, and I cannot express myself to them. And you're hungry. I'm hungry. I've, um, on, on, I, I, I was at a friend uh, 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 the other night, on, on Friday night, we went there to, to eat for Shabbat. Uh, uh, this morning she contacted me and said, listen, I've got leftover food, would you like it? Because I, 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 I'm going to throw it away and I know you're struggling, would you like the food? <coughs> and that's, that's where I'm at at this point. I, I, I exist on a minimal budget and if, when I run out of money, it's people in the, in the street who give me food. This video is going into the UN. Um, what help do you need? What help do you think people need you? What do you need um, in this democratic or non-democratic country? The country needs a constitution that guarantees civil rights to all its citizens and that all citizens understand what those rights are. I come from South Africa, a country that came out of a fascist regime and as a result uh, one of the things that, that changed in, uh, is that there are 11 official languages in South Africa. Before, in the apartheid era, there were two. And if you happened to be a Zulu and you needed legal representation or wanted to see uh, a, a, and understand a document that pertained to a legal issue or whatever, you couldn't get it in your language. So you were discriminated against. South Africa now has 11 official languages. You can be Zulu, you can be Pedi, you can be Kosa, and you will get a document that explains to you exactly what the situation is. But like. not here. Here you cannot. So you feel less than human? You feel I, less than a normal I, human being? I feel subhuman. I am a, a, a slave in the promised land. 